Greetings to all. Myself, A. Mona Devi, Assistant Professor, PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science Forum and Tuchingu. Today we see the calculus of variations and integral equation. Unit 1. Variation problems with fixed boundaries. These are the examples of calculus of variations. First we see the motivation. Digital principle one stationary ground state for energy, solution to many physical problems require maximizing or minimizing some parameter L. For example, distance, time and surface area. Parameter L depends on dependent on selected path U and domain of interest D. Terminology. Functional, the parameter L to be maximized or minimized. Second one, extremal means the solution path U that maximizes or minimizes L. Next, we see the Euler-Lagrange equation. Since V of X is an arbitrary function, the only way for the integral to be 0 is for the other factor of the integrand to be 0. Result is known as the Euler-Lagrange equation. Do f by do u that is equal to d into dx into do f by do u x. The Euler Lagrange equation allows generalization of solution extremes to all variational problems. Next, we will see the limitations. Mathis gives extremes but doesn't indicate the maximum or minimum. First one, distinguishing mathematically between maximum or minimum is more difficult. Second one, usually have used to geometry of physical setup. Solution curve U must have continuous second order derivatives. The requirement for integration by parts. We are finding stationary states which vary only in space not in time. First one, very few cases in which systems vary in time can be solved. Second one, even problems involving time example and they don't descend changes in time. For example, basis course tokens. Next, we see the functions of several independent variables. Previously, we have seen function of one variable y of f of x is where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable that y is depends on x. There also exists function of more than one variable such as z of f of x x comma y into f of f of x comma y comma z v into f of x comma y comma z comma t etc. For convenience, we are allowed to express z into z of x comma y f into f of x comma y comma z and v into v of x comma y comma z comma t etc. Next we said the functions of two variables. The graph of y of f of x is represented as a as a line or curve in two dimensional with respect to x axis and y axis. The graph of z into f of x comma y is represented as a surface in three dimensional with respect to x axis, y axis and z axis. Next we said the function for f of x comma y and x and y are independent variables and z is the dependent variable because z depends on x and y. However, notice that the x and y are independent of each other. That is, y is not the function of x or vice versa. Thank you.